Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Pokemon Brick Bronze. If you're new here, please consider leaving a like and a sub down below. But before we get into this video, there's a uh, few things I want to talk about, I believe. One of them is, you guys want to trade me Pokemon. And I usually say no, because I don't want to accept gifts and cheat in any way. So what I'm going to be doing now is, I'm going to be accepting you guys' Pokemon. But you guys got to trade me a Pokemon you really want to trade me. So if you want to trade me a Diglett, you can. But what you're going to do, so let's go with the Diglett, for example. If you find a Diglett you want to trade me a Diglett, you're going to rename that Diglett to your name. And you're going to go in Discord, send me a message saying, Hot Dog, I got a Pokemon for you for your next video. May or may not use it depending on what you send but you could just send me like a gift but make sure to rename it to your name whatever you want to send like i said go to my description go to that discord link and send me a message and tell me to get on and if i have the time to get on i'll get on and accept your gift but yeah the other thing is you guys want me to make longer form content it's quite hard to do that and it's quite time consuming because sometimes when i record 50 minutes all i get from that 50 minute video is 10 to 15 minutes so it's quite hard to get a longer form video but i'll try my best to do that but besides that this is episode 13 we last left off finding team eclipse uh we went back in time or something dialga helped us so now we have to go to route 11 but as you see we are back here i forgot what this place is called but we have to go to the sky train right here to get to route 11 so let's go do that all right so we're on the sky train system or whatever it's called you to this dude last time we couldn't come here because he said we had no sky train pass but to help everyone reach athenia city more easily okay can we possibly do that ourselves welcome to sky train i see your sky train pass you need a sky train pass to ride Okay, we probably have to get one from the main city, I assume. All right, but we got one from Gilbert, whatever his name is. I forgot his name, to be honest. May I see your Sky Train Pass? Great. Would you like to ride to Kragano's Peak or straight through Route 11? We're going to go to Route 11. And I'm pretty sure there is Baldum, if I'm correct. Route 11. Here we go. Looking pretty beautiful. Wait, I'm not even outside. Okay, the Sand Dunes. This is where we get a Baldum, I'm pretty sure. But I wonder where we go, to be honest. Can we jump down? We can. Okay, we're going to encounter Pokemon. No. Oh, there's also a thing I want to show you guys. So I captured a Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon. As you see, Fletchling, I captured him. The one mail code came out and you get that 16X shiny thing. I was grinding. I ended up capturing a shiny Fletchling. We have two out of six of our Dream Team Pokemon. You guys did tell me there was an L kid or whatever in the sewer. So I'm going to go back and get him this episode. I'll do like a little time lapse. I'll probably do that at the end of the episode. But let's get right into this episode though, you know? Already finding someone great. The key to surviving in the desert is making sure you stay hydrated. The best place to find water in the desert is in the cacti you find. Be careful of the needles though. I already knew that, buddy. Oh, you got Cacnea. This is one of the Pokemon, uh, what's his name? T Brock ass? The guy with the blue hair? Dude, he has six Pokemon. Oh nah. Leaf blade on you though. How much XP? Give us some good XP. Come on. Cacnea faded. 631. Level four flexibility. I forgot he's so low. It's gonna be such good XP for him. Quick attack. Seven, eight, another Cacnea. We'll speed through this. We'll speed through this. All right, here's his last Cacnea. He has six of them. Our Leaf Blade is actually pretty good, I guess. It's an ineffective attack, but it's still strong against him for some reason. Oh, this one one-shots him this time. There we go. We don't lose HP for Sceptile. Does anyone want to level up? Nobody does. There goes my water supply. Damn, $1,400. Continue on our path. Actually, before we continue, I want to look up what Pokemon we get from this route. So I actually don't know. So let's look it up real quick. All right, so what we find in Route 11 is Cacnea, Trapinch, Hippowdon, Krokorok, Sand Slash, Maractus, then Cracked Rocks with find dwibble and shuckle i thought we find ballad on here yes i am tripping but whatever let's continue this path do we have to fight you we do to get up this path this guy over there too i'm looking for ancient remains of life there are signs that there have been a significant amount of lush life here in the past i think i may be onto something but i wouldn't mind taking a break to battle what you got for me something new no no cacnea's diglet oh i was talking about him in the intro okay sandstorm kicked up i mean we got our mega drain to get some hp back so we'll do that on you one shot you as well come on Come on. There we go. How much HP? Ah, uh, not much. I thought it was going to be more, to be honest. Let's debuff by the storm. What kind of debuffs does that do? Let me know. Drill burn. Uh, we're not going to switch. we we'll one-shot you as well. Make a drain. Out you go. A oh, one-shot. We're full HP, basically. We don't have to use our potions on you. 620 XP. So Sandstorm does damage to us. Is that all it does? Let me know in the comments if that's all it does. Duck Trio. We get our Sceptile. Make a drain. There we go. 1300 for his last Pokemon. Fletcher Dirge is level 16. Fletchling wants to learn to move Flail. Uh, I'm good on that, to be honest. Fletchling is level 17. The storm rages on. Oh, he has a Sand Slash. I thought that was her last Pokemon because it gave me so much XP. This is her last Pokemon. Out you go. There we go. 1500 XP. Fletchling is level 18. I learned all I can from this battle. $1400. Oh, already? Fletchling's evolving to Fletchender. 
got a good shiny Pokemon. I want to get a shiny Pokemon of Luxray. So bad. There we go. Congratulations. You fletchingly evolved into a Fletchender. All right, let's continue on. Uh, so we have to Rock Smash this. I still haven't found a uh, Rock Smash. So let me know if I passed it or not. To be honest, I don't know. Okay. All right. So I don't know how much trainers we have. So we got one right here, one right there. Uh, let's just continue, I guess. Another Crocora. I got to capture this guy. The Sandstorm kicked up. He only has three Pokemon. Okay. And it's all Pokemon we can basically one shot, right? Right? Yes, sir. Sceptile is the GOAT. He sucks at Streaco. All right, I admit. But Sceptile is very good. Okay, he goes level 59. 49. Level 49. My bad. He's a Trampage. All right. Doesn't he evolve into something cool? Or am I tripping? I feel like he evolves into something cool, but I don't know. Use Leak Plant on him, though. One shot him. Yep. 559. Almost level 56. Here's another Karak Rock. Just get you done. Leak Blade. Out you go. It's pretty fast. Pretty fast. 1200 XP. Septile is level 56. Fletcher's level 20. Lucario's level 41. That was perfect, except the part where I lost. It was bound to happen, man. You're fighting me, the big hot dog. All right, let's cross. Can we jump on here? No, we cannot. No, a Pokemon. Let's fight this dude. Okay, yeah, there's one right here. There's another dude right there. But there's a path over here. We'll just go look, I guess. Yo, I ain't happy. I got sanded places that shouldn't be. Plus, I'm lost in this nasty heat. You know what? Forget it. Let's just have a battle. You know what I'm saying? Man, these thugs, man. They act like they're hard when they have a hard life. They complain about it. But we got a Scrafty. It's a lot of the same Pokemon I'm seeing, though. Even from Kragano's Peak. And we one shot you, yeah. Sceptile's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. 1600 XP. Fletcher's just gonna have a good, uh... Level up spree, right? Keep charge level 37. I forgot about him. A Krokorok. Dude, how much Pokemon does this guy got? Yeah, it's four. All right. We'll speed through these first two. Leaf play. x He's a Cacturn. Okay. The Scarecrow looking dude. x though. This is his last Pokemon as well. He was a Sucker Punch? No. Sceptile. How Sceptile? How did you fall? Lucario. We use Force Palm. Oh, it worked. I use Force Palm and you're out. There you go. 1600 XP. Sadly, Siptile doesn't get any of it, but it is what it is. Fletcher is level 22. Sparko is level 52. Yo, I can't get nothing right today. Work harder, my friend. I think we'll go. We gotta revive our boy, though. Medicine. Revive. We got six. We refilled last episode. Siptile, there you go. He's back. Let's go see what is over here. Uh. We got a Pokeball. Hot dog foul TM 37. What could that be? Let's see. TM 37. Status rock type. Zero power. Effect. Creates a standstorm for five turns. So it just says damage five turns in a row, basically. I feel like that could be useful. I don't know. Let's continue back on this path over here. Looks like we got one more dude. Let's see what he's about. It looks pretty sad, though. My adventures have taken me to many places around the world. This desert is by far the hottest I've been in. I'll take this over the cold any day, though. I love the heat. Let me show you what I mean. I actually love the cold. I'll take the cold over the heat. A bad cargo. Oh, not the best uh, match type. Let's switch our boy out to Sparko. He does have some fire type Pokemon because he does love the heat. All right, Thunderfang. Come on, come on. Uh, okay. Thunderfang again. Oh, he's not out. Watch, look at this. Look at this, though. The Thunderstorm's going to do damage to me. Watch. Does nine damage. I get HP for my leftovers. Ain't that awesome, right? I know, I know. That's pretty awesome. That cool. What? Look at his HP. How does the tackle do no damage? Even if it's ineffective. And I burn. Great. I get hurt by the sandstorm. I get hurt by the burn. And I get hurt by his attack. Use tackle again. There you go. 1400 XP. It's a magmar. No, we're going to stick with our Sparko. Use Thunderfang on you. He has one more Pokemon off of this dude. Please one shot him too. Does not one shot him. I thought Sparko was going to do a lot more, but you no, know, it is what it is. He faded though. 1600 XP. Come on, Fletcher. There you go. 23. You got the camera up. Who's that? Oh, this cow. The cow. Fight the cow. It doesn't affect him? No, 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 no. He's just yawn. But it failed. Let's start crunch on him. Dark type move. Does nothing to him. Uses yawn. But it failed. Try to put me to sleep, it seems like. I'm sure I'm mega drink because I kind of need the health back. So please be good. Please be good. Okay, it was good. It was good. That was his last Pokemon, I believe, too. 1500 XP. I got burnt out, I suppose. Indeed, you did. Only $700? All right, let's continue. It's a dead end. Oh, okay, look at this exit. This exit. Go, go, go. All right, we're here. We're here. Let's get back into this uh, safe place so we don't have to deal with the sandstorm. We're in Aridia City. Egypt type vibes. Oh, the story locks. Look at them. I've never, ever, ever been here. This is completely new to me. I've never seen not one thing here. An enormous sleeping Pokemon. That's my boy Snorlax. All right, I wonder what we do. Uh, I guess we should just explore. Yeah, let's explore. Actually, let's try to find like the Poke Center real quick. Uh, this might be it. 
Yes, it is. Okay. All right. There's a thing I forgot to do. A lot of you guys wanted to rename my Pokemon, and I took a couple screenshots on my phone. So if I missed any of you guys, I'm sorry. There's some of you guys who wanted to rename the same Pokemon as others. I said no to you guys because, like I said, first come, first serve. Let me go to my gallery real quick. All right. First one is Devonverse. He said to rename my Sceptile to Raptor. All right. So we're going to do that. Nickname. We're going to name him Raptor. Raptor. There we go. Thank you, Devonverse, for uh, naming my Pokemon. So we got Raptor. Then we got Sparko. Those two are named. All right, so we also got Ham. He wants to name our Toxel to Metallica. I don't use him anymore, but I'll still rename him since you asked. Metallica, there you go. Like I said, I don't use him, but Ham, he named him to Metallica. My, my super long neck boy right here. All right, then we got this dude right here. I can't see his name. Some of you guys don't have your accounts named. You guys only have nicknames for your accounts, so I can't see most of you guys' names. But this guy here wants to name our Pidgey to Reggie. So we're going to do that. Nickname. Reggie. There you go. You named him. I don't use him anymore, but he is named. Thank you for the name suggestion. Oh, right, we got Concept. He wants to name our Magikarp Fish and our Sheldon Armor Boy. We're going to do that. One more Magikarp right here. He's probably dead. He's been left out of the water for quite a while. All right. Fish. There you go. What a good name. Sheldon. This is Sheldon, right? Yeah, this is Sheldon. Armor Man, it was actually. I thought I said boy. There you go. Sheldon's Armor Man. All right, then we got another one from Ham. He wants to name our Larvitar Greedzilla. I had no idea it was the same person that named two of my Pokemon. My bad. I'll try not to do that from now on, but we'll just let it slide this one time. Greedzilla. There we go. All right, we got one more. I don't have the picture on my phone, so I can't read out the name right now, but I'll put the comment on screen still. Someone wanted to rename our Greninja to Duke. So we're gonna do that. Duke. There you go. Thank you for the name suggestion. We got my boy Duke now. I have to do that. And there's a couple things I want to show you guys. So these are my shinies. I was gifted this sand slash, but I did find this Mareep right here. I'll show the picture of me encountering it. I was on my phone and I was currently at a place that I was bored, so I was just shiny hunting on my phone. But this was given to me. I was given a sand slash. Thank you very much for that. And this right here, Sprigadito. Whatever it is, you see it's from a code. Pretty cool. And of course, this is the, the shiny we bit had or blitzel. These are our shinies. Also, wait, wait, also our flesh. There you go. Five shinies right here. That's our collection that's a quick little segment i had to rename them all for you guys let me save as well all right let's get right back into this uh story mode all right uh left right let's go here let's see what this is i guess is this like route 12 yes it is route 12 okay what do we do here oh this is quite different oh uh, there he is lurking around the corner slick little dude the tall rocks leading to the mountains have sheltered this area so that i can grow luscious life so close to the hot desert my pokemon and i come here to admire its beauty we also come here to battle trainers come on dude everyone just wants to go out their way to battle but i don't want to do it you got an ursary okay leaf blade oh i didn't heal my pokemon dang it all right make a drain though okay not as good as i thought uh right, dual chop dual chop please be good one, two, okay. Let's take my boy Raptors out. Out you go. He dies again. Oh, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to go back. The Sparky was half dead as well. Let's try Lucario. Horse Paw. The Serang. Here he's out. So, fighting is good against him. Wherever he is, he's probably what? Uh, normal. He has a Dot Fan. Let's try Force Palm as well. Okay, not good at all. Oh, it's paralyzed though. He's an Earthquake. Oh, he one shots me. Okay, we have to go back. Oh, <laughs> dude, you got this. Uh, Dark Pulse. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, and he's paralyzed again. Come on, dark pulse again. Out you go. How much Pokemon does he have? 1800 XP, level 50 Duke. He wants to learn the move Destiny Bond. Uh, let's see if this is any good. The ghost type move. If the user faints, the opponent also faints. Ah, uh, no, to be honest, I don't know. Oh, he has a Pupitar as well. This is the last Pokemon. Let's try Shadow Ball. Come on, be good, be good. Yeah, that was good. He's his crunch on me. Oh, that was really good. Super effective. Crunch or Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Out we go. See you later, Pupitar. $15 XP. I wasn't quite prepared for that. $800. Okay, well, we had to go back to heal our Pokemon, so I'll be back with you guys. All right, all right we're back. Uh, we're going to explore this whole thing because you guys, you know, you guys want a long video, so let's explore it. Oh, uh, we cannot explore this. We need Rock Smash, and I do not have Rock Smash. Uh, this guy is stun locked. I don't think he knows how to get past. I have to figure out where Rock Smash is. Let me know if I passed it or not. Please. All right, let's go explore the main city or whatever. Look at these guards. Can we get it here somehow? No. Iridia City Palace doubles as their city's Pokemon gym. Oh. The prince is likewise the gym leader. When the prince isn't at the palace, the doors will remain shut. If he's not here, you can usually find him at the ruined castle just outside of town. The prince is quite fascinated with artifacts, and the castle is full of them. Okay, so we gotta find him somehow. Look at my boy playing a flute. Alright, so we have to find the prince to fight the gym. Let's see if this is it. Old Aridia. All right, uh, let's fight this dude. Oh, we don't find him. This place is called Old Iridia. Long ago, this was the busiest part of Iridia. 
The king's castle still lies here in the ruin. There's a lot of history here that is slowly being swallowed by the desert sands. That's a rip. Is there anything? Oh, yeah. He said he's over here, right? He's over here? Oh, shoot. Where are you? Bro, he's hiding in the corner. Surrender your Pokemon to me at once. No, you say? Well, then we'll battle for them. What is this guy on about? Thief Thomas. A Nuzleaf. What are you going to do with this dude? Uh, dual chop. Be good. Yeah, he's already half dead. Let's crack his skull. And he did nothing to me. Look at that. Dual chop again. And out you go. Ah, uh, that's a cool Pokemon. I actually want to catch him too. Leaf Blight though. Out you go. One shot. 1500 XP. 57 Raptor. Thief Thomas is about to set off Shift Tree. I remember this guy in the Pokemon show. It was ineffective, but it was a crit and it was really good damage. This is nasty plot. Attack sharply rose. He is plotting something. He's plotting a big old attack. Dual chop though. Out you go. Critical hit as well. 2000 XP for that? Is this his last Pokemon? Watcher is level 27. He wants to learn the move Razor Wind. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's a normal type move. 80 power. Charges on first turn. Attacks on second. High critical hit ratio. That sounds cool. Let's remove it for Peck. This was a mistake. It was. And I took his money. He should have robbed me and I took his money. Okay, can we drop down? You can. Let's go see what this girl's about. If she wants to fight or not. This structure has been abandoned for years. Not much is left inside. These have robbed and stolen most of the artifacts. However, there are rumors of an even greater treasure that lies deeper within. I wonder what that could be. Oh, we keep encountering Pokemon. Another Cacnea. Let's go into this building. Oh, Team Eclipse. Get out of my way, fool. Is this the prince? This has to be, no? Team Eclipse will be taking this jewel back to our base of operations for examination. We believe it may be part of an old legend. You'll give me that jewel and leave promptly, or things will get real ugly for you guys. Oh no, what's the big bad prince gonna do? Hey, you have no power over us. I've warned you fairly. If you don't hand that jewel over now, I will have to take it by force. That jewel has been under my family's protection in this castle for years. Centuries, my bad. I tried pre-firing his next word. Didn't work out. I'm not about to let some punks walk out of here with it. I'm afraid that may be your only option. Your highness. You're out numbered after all no worries i'm here oh hello young trainer what an unexpected surprise this is yes i am aridia city's gym leader but as you can see i'm busy taking care of these goons hey who are you calling goons it looks like you already have a few badges of your own you must be pretty tough would you mind assisting me in battling these punks they have stolen a priceless artifact from the pedestal up there and are threatening to take it with them the castle has been under my family's protection for centuries if you don't stop them there's no telling what they will do with it will you help me i'll help you these team eclipse dudes they got nothing better to do they're probably gonna die themselves once they start this new world i'll take this half if you take the other half you couldn't stop us with an army, fool. Prepare to be crushed by our power. Bring it on. These guys are so cocky. Better have something cool. Come on. An Arbok. What do you do with an Arbok? Leaf Blight, though. Okay, not effective. Not effective. Let's get Snow uses Haze. All stats were eliminated. What does Haze do? It says all stats were eliminated. I legit have no idea what that means. Exeter, though. Yeah, Exeter sucks. So Grass and Bug suck. What about Dragon? Dual Chop. Come on. He avoided the attack. Okay, nothing's going good for us right now. We're having a mid-off. Uh, what was good? Dual chop? No, we need our Fledgender to evolve again and also get a fire type move. I mean, I might as well switch him out for Lucario. There is a big level difference though. Uh, Force Palm. There you go. It's a crit. Force Palm again. Out you go. Super effective. Even with such a big level difference, I do destroy 2400 XP. 2500 XP. Dang. Level 51 Duke. Duke Dennis. I'll take it from here. Did you not just see how badly i destroyed her once i switched out to one of my pokemon that are actually good against it Ooh, a raichu what i like to see let's try mega drain get our health back from this little scrub half damage i'll hit you with that mega drain again we need that hp back we need it okay that was really bad he's just thunder shock does absolutely nothing to us or the burn does more to us basically mega drain again trying to keep as much hp as i can did we level up as well to 58? Come on. 2400 XP. That has to be enough. 58. Here we go. He has a Trevenant. Uh, I have nothing good against him. Let's just try a dual chop. Yeah, not good. Please don't do anything that could one shot us. Use Destiny Bond. It's hoping to take me down with it. All right. So if I one shot him, I also get one shot. We're risking it for the biscuit. Send on our boy Duke. Let's do Shadow Ball. So, okay. Let's see. Do we pass out? Do we pass out? Do we go out with it? 1800 XP, the cry 44. Okay, so it only destiny bounds the Pokemon it did. So if I switched out to do, it doesn't go on to the other Pokemon. 
That's good to know. $2,100 though. This can't be. We were given some of the toughest looking Pokemon that were at the base. How tough a Pokemon looks does not determine the outcome of a battle. Bonding your Pokemon share is what really ultimately declares who is the winner. People and Pokemon are not meant to share some silly bond. Pokemon should not be used like tools in the first place while using them as tools. People like you didn't exist, maybe we wouldn't have to. Either way, we've beaten you. You will hand me that jewel and you will leave at once. Fine. The jewel isn't necessary to our plan anyway. I just figured we'll get a reward for bringing it back. Our ultimate plan is about to come together. And you will both perish with the rest of this world goodbye fools the little red gem on the ground well that certainly was quite dramatic those fools talk a lot about power and destruction with attitude i think they will find most of their battles ending with the same results anyways i owe you for showing up and helping me like that here i want you to have this obtain hm06 uh, hm06 contains rock smash there we go we can finally do everything i was just asking it allows you to remove cracked boulders that wind up in your way along your path you won't be able to use rock smash outside of battle without aridia city's gym badge though oh okay i'll head back and open the palace now it would be an honor to have a battle with you the jewel team eclipse is trying stealing is actually a significant part of this castle's history there's an ancient legend tied with it that's a story for another day though i must be off now i'll be waiting for you in the gym okay all right i better get a good reward though for beating you i mean i guess i got rock smash okay we have to use rock smash here and there's indiana jones right there shoot anything over here nothing pretty nice oh uh, yeah before we end this episode though i am going to see if i can get baldov in here and i'm also going to go get alakir in the sewer i'll add those two into this video i'm gonna do a little time lapse of getting them then after we do get them i'll end the video so yeah let's go do that real quick all right so you don't get baldov you get gibble he's still part of our dream team so we're gonna hunt him real quick for a little time lapse we'll add that in this video he's a very rare though one in 80 and he's a one percent chance uh what is this just throw a quick ball and hope for the best so should i only use quick balls yeah i'm gonna go stuck on some pokeballs i guess and i'll hunt them so we'll do a little time lapse oh sure look i was going back and there's a pokeball gotta check this out gotta check this out good thing i came through this little area found a soft sand soft sand what is soft sand i'll spend some type of like buff item i feel like an item to be held by a pokemon it is a loose silky sand that boosts the power of ground type moves okay that's probably good for gibble i assume all right let's get to know all right we're back we uh stocked up on some pokeballs all right so we have 38 ultra balls and 30 gray balls we used a lot of our money most of our money on those pokeballs to hunt gibble so let's get right into it Guys, I was eating. This is my third encounter with the Pokemon, and it's Gibble. A 1% chance of finding him in my third encounter, I believe. But we got him. There we go. So we're going to hypnosis him. Does he go to sleep for this? He's, yes, he does. We're going to go with our Ultra Balls, because we have quite a bit of those. Please. Please, please, please. Two. Three. That easily? That easily. Wow. Wow. I was only recording for three minutes. Do you want to nickname the Gibble? I don't. Box two. There we go. We got three out of six of our dream Pokemon. All right, let's go find Alkid real quick. All right, so we're in Athene's sewer. As you see, this is where we find Alkid. Uh, he's very rare. Doesn't have a percentage on him. Hopefully, we find him pretty quick, though. We need this little battery thing to evolve him. The reason I know that is because I play uh, Pixelmon. All right, so let's hope we can find him. Get right into this little time ops. Let's go. Honestly, I actually thought it was gonna take not as long. Cause I took, I found Gibble right away. I mean, I was lucky to find him, but still. Imagine if I found him in shiny mode. Hypnosis. Try again. It wasn't paying attention. Does it affect him? He avoids the attack. There you go. He's asleep. Hopefully, we can get first uh, Ultra Ball too. Don't make me waste any Ultra Balls on you, please. Come on. There we go. Three. There we go. You nickname to Elkin? No, we will not. All right, let's head our way back and check out our new Pokemon we got. I right, see there it is. Look at them. Gibble and Alkid. Uh, put them in order. These two bad boys. Can't pull up. There we go. These three guys right here. I just gotta uh level them up. I'm gonna keep Gengar though. Now we just need two more. We need Metagross. And who else do we need? Float Soul. Then also Regigigas. Then we will have our dream team. Let's save this and then off the episode real quick. I right, hope you guys enjoyed. This is episode 13 of Pokemon Brick Rods. I hope this video is a lot longer for you guys. I know you guys want longer videos. But the next episode, we're gonna be battling the gym. And once we battle the gym, we're gonna go back and rock smash all the stuff we missed. So we're just gonna do like a little catching up episode basically after beating the gym. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and a sub down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.